Blackman High School opened its doors to a growing community with a strong tradition. With the incredible growth that Rutherford County has experienced over the past 16 years, Blackman has literally seen the world come to its front door. Be it African American, Asian, Hispanic, Caucasian, different economic backgrounds and different abilities, Blackman has a very diverse student body. That continues to experience great success in all of our sports and in the classroom. Over the past three years, Blackman High School has seen an upward trend in its ACT scores, far exceeding the state national averages. We all make up a family nicknamed The Blaze. It's all about that Blackman pride. This school is providing a platform for students to succeed in all areas of the community and all aspects of their lives. No doubt about it, Blackman is preparing us all for a successful future.
right here. All right. All right, well, welcome everybody and uh, thank everybody for coming out. Uh, it's, a, it's a pretty good crew here today for, for a big day uh, for this family and for this young man. And uh, before we get started, before we actually have the ceremony, we are going to have a few people say a few words. And I believe right now, is uh, Coach Mark here? Yeah. There he is right there. Looks like Pastor. Come on up and, and uh, have a few folks say, and I'll just ask you to introduce yourself to everybody. And uh, tell them why you're here and what you have to say. My name's Alonzo Murray. I ran the uh, Murfreesboro Mustang Youth Football League when Master was seven and came to us, actually six, and came to us and uh, kind of put him through his paces and uh, watching him grow. To me, it, this is very humbling to me and exciting to me, watching him grow from the little uh, stick of a person that he came out there being with the uh, Ankles about this big to the young man he is today. The most, what most important to me is that's how his faith grew, along with his character, and along with the type of man that he just set out. That I know that this this individual is going to be. Master ran running back for me from day one. I mean, nobody caught him, so I, we hand him the ball and let him go down the field. But like I said, going to church with him and just watching him mature from here to way up here was a, it's just been a blessing for me and Master and Corey and Mom. I really thank you for inviting me and let me be a part of his special day. Of course. Right, thank you. Next, we're gonna have uh, a gentleman that's been uh, very instrumental in, in uh, Master's progression as an athlete. I want to introduce you to uh, Dwayne Beasley. Hi, I'm Dwayne Beasley. Everybody calls me Coach Beasley. Um, I'm the guy that trains a lot of athletes around here. Um, had this little fella here for about three and a half years now. Uh, 157 pounds, 5'8", couldn't lift, bench press his own weight. Uh, <laughs> To a guy that now is 215 pounds, 5'11", and has NFL type speed and agility. Um, I've trained several hundred, up close to a thousand athletes over my career, and a lot of these kids in here train with me now. And not to take anything away from them or any of the the kids or athletes I've trained before, but this kid here has a work ethic like I've never seen. Uh, even when he had surgery, he's texting me, he's like, when can I get back? And I said, well, the doctor said you can't do anything. He still came in, and we did some upper body stuff. Um, days I tell him to take off, he's asking what can he do to get himself better to where we were started out, what, three days a week a few years ago to where we were training six, seven days a week. Uh, he would text me, ask me if I had time to come up to, to the school to work with him. I'm not going to turn a kid down that wants to work hard um, and better himself. Um, he's a God-fearing kid. He was the most quiet kid I ever trained. He never said a word. He still doesn't say too much, but he smiles now. He didn't used to smile. He wouldn't talk to anybody. And I, and I told him, and I told Emily, and I told Corey, when he came to me as a freshman, I noticed something special in him. And I told Corey, I said, he's going to go for big places. And his dad didn't believe me. Uh, I, he just thought that he was more of a, you know, he would hopefully go to college and save them some money and play at the next level, but I don't think he thought he was going to be where he is. A lot of these kids in here um, are D1 athletes that, I, that has been around this program uh, and in this area, and they all go to SEC schools and other schools, but I think going to Ohio State is a little different. Um, he's got a chance to play for a national championship every year, and I'm going to tell you right now to y'all in front of everybody else, in three and a half years, you'll see him in the Heisman Trophy race, and you will see him in the NFL. So I just want to say I love you. Right. I love you, I love you guys, and I appreciate you for, for entrusting me and, and helping him along as, a, as an athlete and as well as a, as a young man and, and seeing him mature. Well, thank you. <laughs> All right, thank you, guys. Uh, I'm John McCreary, Coach Mack, one of the coaches here at Blackman High School, but uh, for 
for a little while I was the head coach across the street at the middle school, and that's where I first, first met Master. And um, uh, just to, I'm not going to belabor it, but just to say that what's already been said, skinny ankles, a little kid that ran really, really fast. Um, I, we joke about the fact that uh, there was, there's a picture on the cover of a Murfreesboro Post from years ago that's, if you, if you ever get a chance to see that picture and then get a look at Master now, it's, 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 it's a little bit different. Um, uh, exceptional kid, like everybody said, he's, he's been quiet in the way that he leads himself and the way that he leads others. Uh, but to experience uh, being around him as, as much as I've been able to and, and in different settings, uh, I also work with FCA here and uh, Fellowship of Christian Athletes, and, and I think we all know that's a big part of what Master is all about and, and uh, the things that he holds dear to himself. But um, I said this the other night at the banquet, one of the most impressive things that I see him do is the way that he leads others, uh, the way that he is always considering uh, the people around him as, um, as, as, as more important than himself. Um, that, that's kind of the way that he conducts himself in, in almost every uh, part of his life. But um, I, I was walking through the weight room. In fact, I walked through the weight room this morning, and guess who the only guy in the weight room was this morning? <laughs> uh, but uh, the other day, I walked through, and there were a couple of guys in there who were, you know, trying to trying to work a technique with with lifting. And, and uh, besides myself, I think he and the, those guys were the only two other guys in there. And he was slowing down to try to show them the correct way. Just just taking a moment just to work with some some underclassmen and and help them out. And 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 that's who Master is. And um, you know, have I ever been around one that's worked as hard as he has? I, I, if I have, I can't remember it. Um, it's, it to see his progression over the, over the over his career at Blackman High School, and to see it uh, culminate with with what we're about to do today is 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 truly special. Um, I don't know if anything else, if anybody's got anything else that they want to say, but um, uh, in just a moment, we're going to take some pictures. Uh, we're going to have a ch time for everybody to get that as much as you want to and to have that time together with, with Master. Um, you know, I feel, like, um, I feel like there's something else that I, that I need to say about who this young man is, and I know that he has something that, he, believe it or not, Master has something that he wants to say. Uh, but, um, you know, I want to say congratulations uh, to you, to your family, um, and to say that, you know, to be around you and to see the, the young man that you become is, is, is really a special thing. And, um, you know, I'll mention one other thing. We, we, we do meet for a little Bible study on Thursday mornings, and, um, and it, it's, it's